last summer, which would be the summer of 2021, I served on a committee to, uh, for the university, for the museum, to select out of a pool of Dorothy Hood drawings, the drawings that the museum would accession into its permanent collection. I think it was the end of the final meeting. Uh, Deborah brought up something like, uh, well, now we gotta get these framed. And it occurred to me there was, uh, there was a class I wanted to work on. I wanted to work on creating a museum and gallery studies class. So I told her, yeah, that would be great motivation for uh, finishing working on this class because if I got the class together, we could frame the Dorothy Hoods for you. Um, and she thought that was a great idea and we just, uh, from that point on, decided to work together to both give the students like the best experience they can can have in, learn, in terms of learning to build frames, conservation framing, but also benefit the museum, our sister institution, the Art Museum of South Texas. It's gonna take, uh, probably through the end of the semester, I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be like a six, seven week process. We've covered other things in the class like installation, uh, lighting requirements and things like that. That would normally go along with something with a drawing, but. Yeah, mounting, matting, glazing, all of those things. So this feel, just if you would, just run your finger on here. Come in here, just give that, give that a feel. It's, I mean, it, you, can, you can feel how rough it is. So all I wanna do is, again, with the grain, I'd never wanna sand it like this. I wanna go with the grain. So we're only doing that lip part and then this part. The right? back and back. Top and the lip. And I'll draw that on the announcement so it's okay. Not, okay, now give it a feel. And that's okay. kind of we're gonna take if you look at this and look at the shape, it's kind of like an upside down L. Yes. It's got a, a really thick vertical part. And it's called a, a cap, right? And there's other weird names for profiles like swans and ducks and other things, but this is just a common cap. We're gonna paint the back, okay. the top, the front and inside of the lip, and the inside. This area in here is called a rabbit. Okay. It's, uh, if someone, if you're dealing with someone about a frame and they're like, well, how deep is the rabbit? You can tell them it's like three quarter inches deep. The lip though would be like a quarter of an inch here, right? So, the way I like to suggest doing this is laying it on its back first and we we'll kind of have to, we have to share okay. this. But I'm going to, I'm going to work inside the front of the lip, the inside, and I'm going to go down again with the grain. I'm never going to do this. Yeah. Okay. Always going to go with the grain of the wood. Mm -hmm. Then once I've gone down the entire length, I'm going to go back and turn it up. And I notice that there's been some drip there. I want to really make sure that I feather that out and don't let that stay. And I'll show you why in a second. All the way down, then I'm going to turn it like this so it's right on the edge, and then go down the back. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to set it up, and we'll let it cure and set in here. It's also harder. Yeah. So a single coat of semi-matte waterborne urethane on plain pine doesn't change the way the pine looks at all and provides some protection. But let me tell you what you need to do. So today, about one and a half to two inches away from the, the edge of the drawing, you're taking this, the ATG and rolling it out. And the ATG tape, it's a 3M product and it is basically all the sticky, it's like tape without the not sticky part. So it's like, you might think of a clear piece of cellophane tape, but this is like the gooey stuff without the, it's the gooey stuff without the cellophane. So what you're doing is rolling this out on all four sides, again, an inch and a half, two inches away. <laughs> all the 
all the way around. Once you get that done, let me know. Because what we'll do next, what we'll do next is sit the map on these and adjust them so that we're not seeing any, any clear uh, corners or and, and we're seeing signature. And, and I'll walk you through that. So for now, we, so lay the mat down all the way because we can still reposition it in here. So I can still move things around. Um, what I want to do is make sure that I don't see a plastic corner and that I do see the, I don't see a plastic corner, but I do see the signature. Good? Okay. I, I don't see anything here. So scoring and cutting acrylic, there are wall mounted ways to do this that have scoring tools, but we don't have one of those. So we're gonna do it by hand. So it takes, it takes five really deep cuts to score this well. And you want to score, you want to, there's a certain noise you want to hear when you cut. So if you're doing it too light, you're not gonna hear anything, right? You really have to push down. Uh, and Jen's holding the uh, the straight edge for us, which is really great. Uh, somebody called this something the other day, and I can't remember. But listen, and you're gonna. This is what it needs to sound like. Right. That's that's like <laughs> that's like the right sound of the right pressure on this. Okay. Two. Thanks. Okay, one more time. Why should I grab it? Regular. Okay. Yeah, you're good. That's the way I would do it. There you are. All right. That's. That's it. Okay, so today we are a, we are cutting uh, the frames for the Dorothy Hood drawings and assembling them. So, come over here. So when I was framing at the frame up, I had, I was, it was one framer against like six finishers. Mm -hmm. So I had to do things as fast as possible. And one of the things I figured out was this plane inside the vise mm -hmm. has to line up with that inside corner piece. Right? So if I can get that set there, it's, it's already very close to where it needs to be. Okay. And then the, the easiest way I can describe how tight to put the, the, the vice is imagine you're setting a broken baby's wrist. Oh yeah, that's right. It's right? So it's not like the it's not like the tighter you put it on, the better it is. The tighter you put it on, the more it'll ding up the back. So it's like again, it's like imagine a baby's wrist that's broken and you're setting it to keep it to set when you're setting the bone to heal. So it's gentle. It's gentle. And then so if I know that I've got this close to the approximate place that it's gonna be. Go ahead and just give it a little bit of a, let's go ahead and tighten it. Again, baby just, baby just, a little more, a little more. Baby can take a little pain. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, take this off this summer. yeah, perfect. I'm gonna back this up because feel that, rub your, rub the pad of your finger against that. Do you feel it drag when you go this way? So it's smooth going that uh -huh. way, drag, right? Did you see it move? Yeah. And did you see that slip? Yeah. <laughs> so we gotta make sure that that's nice and tight. So. Give that baby's wrist a good, make it nice and secure. That's good, right? And you can always, it's always a good sign when you see glue squirt out of the seams. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, so there we are. I don't see a gap, we're good. So that's what we're aiming for. Okay. And the other thing is that the vices don't do the work for you. The vices merely hold where you set them. Uh, cutting the wood in, uh, and then putting it in framers vices, gluing the corners. Once the corners are set, nailing them and making sure they're secure. And then we take the frames out of the vices 
and check them with the framed work, with the glazed work, and make sure that uh, it's a good fit. If it's a good fit, we, we wait till the next step. The, this is the frame that Laura built, and so we're now putting it over the plexiglass and over the, the drawing and just seeing and making sure that it fits, and it's beautiful. So y'all y'all get around here, I want y'all to be able to see this. Point driver. What I want to do first is hit the center and just just get the piece, just get the thing secure. Right? I'm gonna flip it again. And I still have, because, because the corners aren't set, I still have access into the frame, so I can still check it for little bugs and things like that. And right now, we are really looking good. That's on the outside. The only problem is, I still can't seem to get this to, for some reason, go in. I don't know. I'm going to set it down one more time. I want to check it for anything in there that looks like it doesn't belong. It's on the outside. That's good. Okay. So, we're good. Now I want to finish it. 